Hello and welcome back. Today I'm in Dollar to try out some of the downhill trails here, well two specifically, uh, Hill Food Trail and the Heritage Trail. Um, so where is Dollar? Dollar, see it's a nice picturesque place, it's in Clackmannanshire in central Scotland and it forms part of the Hill Food villages along with the seat of the Oakle Hills in the background there um, from Earl's Seat and further over on my right shoulder around the corner we Demayat which is obviously kind of familiar to mountain bikers as well so that's the region I'm in uh, I've got a fairly long climb and I've been slogging it for a wee bit so if you, <laughs> I'll go through a bit of the history of Dollar if you want uh, a, couple, a couple of historical buildings if you are visiting the area fast forward the next two minutes if you don't hear about them before I get to the trailhead um, probably one of the most famous ones would be the Castle Campbell in Dollar Glen just uh, behind, behind me there in the trees and that is a uh, over 500 euro castle. It was built in the 15th century and initially Castle Gloom and then purchased by, or by marriage, it fell into the hands of the Dukes and Earls of Argyle and the, the powerful um, Clan Campbell. So this was their lowland uh, stronghold or their, their, their kind of foot, foot in the door for this region and it allowed them to attend important meetings at places like Stirling Castle, Edinburgh Castle and Perth um, where they would have political and military um, meetings and arrangements so that's the... Uh, I have to stop here because I've noticed there's a wee cut off in the path I think this takes me to the trailhead but yeah, just to go through the Castle Campbell one in fact, I'll get up to the next bit and I'll, I'll finish it off there Okay, back on the bike so, Castle Campbell um, narrowly escaped being destroyed in 1645 and it was then the, the first Marquis of Montrose, a guy called James Graham who was, a, who was both a Covenanter and a Royalist he changed sides and for which he got hung, uh, beheaded and, and quartered later down the line he basically laid siege to Dollar uh, and as an act of revenge against Argyle and during that time the uh, castle wasn't breached in fact didn't offer any assistance to, to the locals and the poor people of Dollar at that time suffered uh, dreadfully and so did all the um, crops and livestock so Dollar was pretty much laid waste and the new part of the Dollar we built further um, further on from there so let me just get by this boggy section can't do both the castle was left um, pretty much undamaged but that was only for the next nine years or so and in uh, 1654 the under the Oliver uh, as in Oliver Cromwell uh, who was the protector of the Commonwealth at that time and he uh, him and his English garrison had uh, taken over that area and it was the supporters of Charles II uh, trying, to, trying to cycle in one hand and navigate. You can see what I'm trying to cycle through here. Um, so yeah, the, the supporters of Charles II set fire to, to the castle over a period of a couple of days and the castle was the way it remains today. It was never actually fully rebuilt but it was purchased later on, I think it was in the 18th century and then it's been to this day you can go and visit it and that's what I'm just saying, if you're up in the area and you're trying to combine two things, you've got family with you Dollar Glen, lovely place for a walk, steep natural gorges uh, with wooden walkways and stuff and you've got the castle there to explore and uh, yeah so that's for that, so fast forward again you'd be looking at uh, into the sort of 19th century where the Dollar's most famous for I think in the latter years is for the um, uh, for Dollar Academy which is a, a fee paying, it's a private school and it's attracted uh, pupils and alumni from all over the all over the world and uh, you need to have fairly deep pockets to go there and a couple of my friends actually were at Dollar Academy that I made at, at university and uh, it's a lovely building and uh, it turned into sort of an education town so education took over from the sort of the mining and uh, stuff like that and Dollar, Academy, Dollar um, grew and the population almost trebled uh, in the period of time that that was there but yeah, those are the two buildings. What I'm here for, the building I'm looking for, is the trail building that's going on. The trail building up here, from what I can see on social media, what I can see from the videos, uh, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, it's going to be a level up. So I'm looking forward to it, and 
Climb's been not too bad. It's just obviously the typical fire road climb. Fairly long. I don't know how far away I'm gonna have to check trail forks, but let's get up there and let's get into the mountain biking and see what these trails are like. Let's go. This is a pretty cool push up. I just followed the uh, the trail forks thing, came up through the trees, but quite a, maybe about 300 or so yards. But there's uh, little black arrows as you come through because it's fairly nondescript and all of a sudden you just this black arrow appears just where you need it and you just keep following it through. But I've come to the top section and uh, it's like a completely different world here. There's a chlorophyll explosion. It actually looks more like this is like the Dagobah swamp in Star Wars. I'm thinking waiting to see Yoda chilling up here. But I spoke to a couple of guys on the way up and uh, they've just ridden this top section so it's super slick and uh, the, yeah, it gets better further down you go as it opens up. So there's another one of these arrows I was telling you about. So yes, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. Keep my keep my phone in my pocket, and I can see. Yeah, I knew it was roughly about now when I looked at trail forks. This is really cool. I like it. Dollar hair to this trail, black graded mountain bike trail. Expert mountain bikers only. Oh, <laughs> that was the fitness bike handling skills. Drops, gaps, steep sections, rutted, uneven soft surfaces, potentially hazardous, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. Well, as if it wasn't ominous enough, <laughs> coming up through that forest section there and heading up to the top. A wee bit of that to reality check. Yeah, there's no warm up here. I think it's going to be a case of just get yourself ready and send it down. But I'll take the word of advice. I'm going to chill for the first wee bit, let my body loosen up, and hopefully by the time I get further down, uh, I think I'm going to try and do it in one go. Unless there's any features I really have to stop at, I prefer to try and do it in one go all the way down the bottom. But we'll see. Let's get ready. Okay, what well, I think this is probably the best start to a mountain bike trail. Um, that I've been at and I, I think it, it builds up quite nice, you come up the kind of boring fire road but then you come into the trees in the push up through the kind of dark forest and it opens up into this kind of vibrant lush sort of green forest and then you get your warning sign <laughs> telling you that you need to be expert skills and all that kind of stuff so you know you're in for some serious stuff and um, I did say I was going to do it in one go however I managed to go down a couple hundred meters and I was too tight, everything, I was sliding over the place, it's super slick and it's a lot rougher than, um, than the videos show. If you're watching this, it'll be shot in 4K, don't forget you can adjust the quality of, of the video in the settings. If you put it into 4K on your device or computer, especially watching something big, you'll be able to see every, uh, every bit of kind of gnarly terrain that it is. Because uh, if you're watching less than that, it'll smooth it all out, but trust me, I mean, even my tyres are already clogged up. But, we're good to go again. A little bit of... Come back up, did a bit of breath work, visualisation, get myself centred and I now know I need to relax more and try and find, you know, fight the track and try and see if I can flow over the kind of rougher features because I was just getting pinged around. So lesson learned, hopefully now I can centre from top to bottom but this is, uh, this is something else so let's get into it. Here's your sign. And then it does dry out, I think, but it's going to be super slick to start, as I said. And already, I'm just sliding two wheels everywhere. But it does just kind of big muddy gutters to start with. And I think there's another bit that opens out. And I turn back. Anyway. And then it dried out in this part here. Into the tree. Oh, but I just keep going. Just I'm squirming around. It should dry out, he says. And then, oh, draw. It's a drop. Oh, no. 
Okay. A little bit more relaxed. Physical track. Man, it is steep. <laughs> okay, I just had my ass kicked by that track big time. If I wasn't on this bike with those brakes, I'd have been OTB on a few moments there. Yeah, thank goodness for the equipment there because. That was just looking pretty sketchy. Uh, for those that know that have ridden it, feel free to chip in. <laughs> and let me know that that is harder than it does look in video. And yeah, I'd love to go back up and try that again, but my adrenaline gland is practically fried after that one. I need to maybe try and try the lower sections because I need to do hill fit hill as well. I don't want to just concentrate and get this one perfect because it's not going to happen. Uh, in one swift stroke. I need to need to come back and session that and be with some locals and that because I saw a couple of guys and they didn't even man they were, couldn't manage that drop in part there and I can see why especially when you go up there it's completely different. Okay let's just say top dollar was pretty much proofs in its name. That is called the Heritage MTB Trail and now going on to Lonely Tree. Oh okay the Lonely Tree. That's why it's called that. And this should take me right back to the beginning and then I'll head back up for hill food. So, man, I'm still buzzing. My legs are still kind of wobbly after that. But let's hope this isn't as intense. But it can be. I'm certainly warmed up anyway. Yeah, I really got to watch it and let my speed drift up because I'm riding blind, so should really be trying to look further ahead. I'm getting too used to short climbs and short descents. But this is just exactly what I need. Not even for your muscles, but just for your concentration and reactions. Nice wee tabletop. Ah, oh, here we go. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hello, Dollar Brill, y'all. Ice can through my head. You've been a mix of Wu Chang Clan cream. Oh, there's Dollar Dollar Brill there. Holy smokes, man, that is. I'd love to know that better. But there is something exciting about riding a new place and riding new trails. It kind of heightens up your reactions and your everything else is, just ramps things up. But I'd love to be able to ride that a little bit more relaxed. Uh, fantastic. Good job, guys. I'm really looking forward to the next one now because apparently some people said this one's even harder. <laughs> That was faster than Florida at the bottom, but you still have to work through it. Back up for Hill Food Hill. Okay, Hill Food Hill. I followed the stuff on Trail Forks. So I've got a big fire break in the trees here. Push up there, and the trail should be over here, but I have gone further away along. And it's just an absolute quagmire. It's up to the ankle, deep in some mud. There's a few fallen trees, and even just walking and pushing, it was sliding all over the place. Uh, I don't know whether it's just the bad weather and the drainage. But it looks like there's, I don't know if this is maybe the start of it, or I think the start should be over there. So this must be an alternative start that joins onto it because of the problems they've got with the, the drainage. Um, if it joins onto the same trail, then this must be just an alternative start rather than a separate trail. But anybody that knows, um, yeah, pop in the comments, make sure to keep us right. This is Hill Food Hill. Again, just going to be uh, taking it easy. This is all, all new to us, so... Um, I'll just pick it up as we go along. I can't decide whether to go from top to bottom or just down to firewood and loop it. We'll see how it gets on. So let's go. Dollar. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think I'm on the... Oh! <laughs> Absolutely no traction here. <laughs> okay, so follow I'm on the right way. Ah, okay. Yeah, this must be just another another way of starting it. Okay, send it. Whoa, what a save! Oh, biggest save of my career. Second big one of the day. Man, this track, these tracks are biting. <laughs> Till I get the actual speed. Oof. <laughs> okay, stop, 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 time out, man. Wow. <laughs> Is there a video for that one there? That was, I was just bucked up all over the place. I was practicing one leg off, all sorts of madness. Just tucked it in no more. Again, this is, I think it's just thanks to, uh, Definitely thanks to modern geometry, I think. And my other bike, I would have been in much worse shape than that, but... Man, that was ridiculous. Sent that too far.
to the lower half of Hillsfoot Hill. And now we've got to Dusty Marbles as opposed to sliding around all that grease. Yeah, I think you need to have all your all the skills. Yeah, they're quite right for having the Big drop here, huh? <laughs> Kind of reminds me of the first time I rode Dallas And uh, I was laughing But oh. Man Boy, I don't even know what to say <laughs> Superb, on the limit, I started to loosen up and get in my groove there, cut my knee off at the beginning, but damn these, yes, take heed, don't uh, look at the video, maybe come from the uh, from my local trail centre and head up the top here, this track will bite. Um, I'd love to know from other people who've ridden Dollar. I think I called it Dallas for the Ireland, how that meant. Um, what they think? How does this compare to other trails that they've uh, that they've ridden? Because I think it's level up material is. You need to get your mountain bike and kung fu correct for you to do this. But I've seen one little short trail at the top. I'm gonna loop back around and hit that one again. That's good. Let's try it again before we go. So this is it. On the left hand side, it's at Hillfoot Hill. It's so flowy. Well the tricky section here. I can't get my foot back in position. Let me say it may not be ready, but it looks like that was a while ago. Oh man, lovely corners. Nice and low me as well. And that's that was it and joined back on to that other trail. I'll give me a chance to do the tabletop properly. Hit around the outside. Ah, I'm cutting up. <laughs> he says and then messes it up. <laughs> and that is it. <laughs> I was banging that. I don't know how much I've caught of that because camera's in the way. Okay, that's it from Dollar and blown away by the trails. It's obviously very subjective because people are coming out from different skill sets and uh, they're used to different types of trails and, and what have you, but that's definitely, I think it's a level up from what I was used to. It's kind of unrelenting. I think you need to have all your core skills dialed in before you, you come and try it. Uh, that's just from my point of view. I think that the, uh, the consequence for not having <laughs> the right set of skills and techniques for the these kind of awkward drops um it means that you could really be punished uh, on the other side and you know you're, you're really gonna you're really gonna pay for it i got away with it a couple of times today and that was just uh a little bit of everything a little bit of skill a bit of luck and uh, and obviously forgiving um geometry and having that extra travel and and, and those kind of things and just the whole setup of the bike it helped me 
get round a few things that previously I probably would have. So, so this kind of shows you that not every moment of, oh, this is going to be a really bad crash uh, ends that way. And fortunately I managed to save, uh, save it a couple of times. So in terms of the dollar, I'm definitely going to come back here. I'm probably going to try and relax a little bit more next time. I'm not really going to bother videoing it until I find some new trails. But I think until I get session in the new trails, I won't put another video out. Because what happens is you end up just too, too, uh, too tense involved. Nice wee stream down here by the car park. I can down, freshen myself up, get some dry clothes on, and uh, get time to sort of collect my thoughts and get myself adrenaline back down. But I've got to go to a barbecue now, and it's all worked out really well. So uh, there are new, pl there are plans as well for another couple of trails up there, and definitely the hill can take it. It's got 1,500 foot. It's got plenty of gradient, and it's got a fire road loop and it's got uh, a couple of push-ups so the, the actual basic structures there it just needs uh, the, the the builders now and that's what I, before i finish I'd like to say that you know hats off to the builders but if any of you guys uh, involved in building or know people are building and you want to stick in the comments any digging rides um by all means because um people come to look at these things want to go and ride it and a lot of them like myself would like to maybe put back in and if you have digging rides pop in the comments Anyway, that's it. I've got 1% battery. Hopefully I can get in for the end. Thanks for watching. If you like to see this more, hit the like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff helps the channel. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching again. Bye.